Now to boxing, Cal Yafai is set to fight in front of 6,000 fans tomorrow as he looks to defend his world title against Japan's Suguru Muranaka. For Cal and his brother Gamal, who is on the undercard, a chance to end the week in style after their beloved Birmingham City avoided relegation on Sunday. A warning, there is flash photography throughout my report. Cal Yafai face to face with the man who wants his belt, Japan's Suguru Muranaka. His opponent is unbeaten since 2006, but at 31 has never fought outside of his own country. And 27-year-old Cal knows that most of these 6,000 fans will be cheering his name at the Barclay Card Arena. The buzz I get walking in front of my home crowd is unbelievable and I can't even imagine what it's going to be like Saturday night when I'm actually headlining the show as the city's first world champion. Um, I just can't wait. Cal has been big news since he earned a unanimous points decision over Lewis Concepcion in December when he became Birmingham's first boxing world champion in more than 100 years. And he says for this next battle he'll take inspiration from his friend Anthony Joshua's recent fight with Vladimir Klitschko. Of course, Cal's isn't the only high-profile fight on this mega Midlands card. Frankie Gavin says his bout with Frenchman Renal Gerido is last chance saloon after he lost a close contest with Sam Eggington last year. Cal's brother Gamal is also in action, fighting another brummy, Sean Davis, for his WBC International Super Bantamweight title. And then there's the rapid rising star that is Sam Eggington. Recent victories over Gavin and Pauli Malinaji have thrust him into the limelight. Now he faces European welterweight champion Serafino Rodriguez. Last year has been so big for you, just progressed and progressed and progressed. How do you make sure you maintain that? I just make sure I have the right people around me telling me the right things. You know, I could, I could either run myself into the ground training too hard or I could do not enough. Um, so the right people let me know around me and tell me what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong. And what about that battle between Cal's brother Gamal and Davis? I did, did, got, got a lot of respect for him, nice kid, um, and, uh, but it's, it's just business, you know, um, I'm just in there to uh, do a job and, and that's all. As I train, I prepare for everything, so if he, if he changes style halfway through a round, I'm prepared for that, you know, I, I, do, I do all the homework I need to. He'll be getting one next, don't worry, he'll be getting one. The undercard promises both pride and belts at stake but it is Cal on top of the bill. And after his beloved Birmingham City avoided relegation last Sunday, he hopes to round off a big week with a knockout performance tomorrow. Well, it should be a great night. And today the boxers all weighed in, uh, no issues. This was our champ champion Cal, lean but looking strong. Now I have to say his opponent, Suguru Muranaki, to my eyes, at least looks less stocky. Maybe he uses his slight frame for speed. We will see. Now, as I mentioned, Cal is a huge Birmingham City fan. So what are his thoughts on Harry Redknapp agreeing to stay for next season? He can stay for good. Um, got him for another year, so, you know, um, what a manager to have. Um, in that short period of space, what he's done, um, it shows what he's worth. And also a boxing world champion. Oh, we don't have too many of those, Lizzie. Yes, he's the, in fact, he's the city's first world champion. Now, Cal Yufai wants to turn Birmingham into a boxing fortress. The 27-year-old makes the first defence of his title at the Barclay Card Arena tomorrow night. And he's confident this will be just the start of great things in the city. Just a warning, though, Nick Clitheroe's report does contain some flash photography. From every vantage point and every angle, they just wanted to get a glimpse of the man who's taken Birmingham's boxing reputation to a new level. The city has produced plenty of good fighters, but only Cal Yafai has made it all the way to be world champion. Well, this is what it's all about, the WBA belt, the first world title ever held by a Birmingham boxer. The chance to defend that title on his own patch is proving very sweet for Cal. I always believed that I would, but... Um... I just didn't know how it was going to happen or how long it would take. Um, now it's happened, you know, nothing changes for me. I work hard, continue to work hard, I'm very motivated. And I just want to continue to bring big nights to the city. I, want to, I really want to turn this into my fortress and, um, and continue to headline big, big nights. There are plenty of other Brummie fighters on the bill and 6,000 tickets have been sold. Further indication that this could be the start of a new era for boxing in the city. He wants to go on and, and create a legacy in the sport. You know, he's come from that background. You know, he trained with Anthony Joshua for years and years, 
and he's from the GB setup. He wants perfection. You know, he doesn't want to just be a world champion. He wants to own all the belts. He wants to beat the very, very best. You find out very sharp in his public workout in the bull ring early this week, and he'll need to be. Suguru Maranaka may never have fought outside Japan before, but he's unbeaten in nine years. Inside the ring, it's all the same in the world, so it's really exciting to fight in England too. He's assured of his place in the city's sporting history, and he's become a role model for young fans. But there's still plenty of hard work ahead for Kalia Fire to create that boxing legacy. Nick Clitheroe, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham.